Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, coming back for another fan film reaction. This has been highly anticipated, the sequel to a fan film that I watched a long time ago called Imps the Relentless. Awesome little snapshot into the lives of some regular Stormtrooper type grunts. And it turns out there's two more episodes to go, so I love me a good fan film, especially one about Stormtroopers, and considering that these were made back in 1999, I think the graphics are astounding. Very impressive, can't wait to see what happens in part two, so without further ado, let's do it! Very epic. Black Sheep Productions. Right? That's right. Fine group of nerds. What do we got? Some nose art. Ah, it's Holdo. Hey. Imperial personnel, military stories. Imps. The relentless. The Orbesh around her is too stylized, I can't read it. Good, but I'm not that good. Can't read upside down. Oh, it's a walker. It's an all-terrain armored transport. Fuck yeah. So episode one was 1999, so this is probably like early 2000s. Still very impressive for a fan film, technologically. Look at this, this is epic. Narrated by fucking Peter Cullen, all right? We're in for a treat. Interest interesting that the interceptors and fighters aren't stored in their own like, categories. It's freaking cool, man. Just the visuals of hyperspace are always cool. As the group drops out of hyperspace, the ships are ordered to maneuver defensively around the perimeter to ensure maximum coverage of the planet's surface. Following up on leads of illegal activity, the relentless inter-battle group exercise caution when approaching this remote system. In these situations, careful coordination between man and machine is imperative to the successful completion of a mission. Attention all flight departs now. Transport cargo loaded. Stand clear. Once orbit has been secured, the Relentless deploys the Cold Climate Assault Trooper Division to the surface of this frigid planet. Attention. Seven, nine, transport 98182 loop. Prepare to initiate transport for drop sequence. If this was made a decade later, they'd be using a Gozanti for that right there. Transport 98182 Zulu, Roger that, standing by. Yes, sir, absolutely. Captain, all medical supplies check out and personnel accounted for. So, with your authorization, we're ready. Thank you, officer. That's good news. Yes, sir. Thank you. Alright, excuse me, Captain. Yeah. I've checked this bird out from top to bottom. Crew is secured and the pre flight list checks out. You're good to go. So with your permission? Good work, Tech Sergeant. You are really Safe flight and Godspeed, sir. Hey, 
You take care of my ship, you hear? I don't want the Lonely Ramp all busted up again. Hey, I'm talking to you. It's my ship now, so shouldn't what? you be leaving? Uh, I'm too old for this. I should tell him to stick a load. Flight Command, Transport 9 or 818 Zulu has pre-flight checkout and is awaiting authorization to initiate drop sequence. Transport 9 or 818 Zulu, roger that. I really like the way they've done the individualization of the armors while still being uniform. Zulu, roger that. All right, crew, let's do this clean. Retract loading ramp. Yes, sir, retracting ramp. All drop stations, report go, no go for drop. Armor 18, drop station secure. Green light, armor 24, green light. Armor 11, we're secure, green light. Armor Look at that, that's a burly landing craft. Affirmative. Captain, all drop stations secured. Cargo cross lock engaged. Manual pre launch cycle engaged. Captain, flight command standing by. Thank you. Flight command, transport 9 or 818 Zulu confirms all drop stations secured. Transport 9 or 818 Zulu, roger that. Transferring vector heading for approach. Disengaging primary docking collar. You are clear for launch and the ship is yours. Drop them easy and hit them hard. Nine or hit them hard, Zulu. baby. Confirmed. Internals online. Final pre launch sequence. Check. Confirmed. Primary couplers released. Flight control systems online. Sealing all outboard hatches. Internal compartments pressurized. All integrity check. Receiving flight command to comms. Now on the profile. Check. Approach vector locked into LZ. Check. Stand by to release. All stations get ready for a draft. We're opening the window. There we go. My mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Come on, that joke's getting old. One. Put that away. Mark. Oh, just free fall. Awesome. What are you doing? Captain, with these conditions, our time on the ground just got cut in half. Eight minutes will be more than enough time on the ground. Yes, sir. LT? Sir, when you put us on the deck, keep the engines hot. Stand by for immediate dust off. Once the walkers are clear, we need to get above this storm to orbit on station. Roger that, sir. Approaching staging area. Beginning landing cycle. Alright, we gotta drop off the walkers and get outside the storm. It's gonna be tricky. Because I guess the walkers don't care about the storm. They're, once they're on the ground, turbulent crosswinds, I guess, aren't even a thing. But for this massive craft, gator. that's an issue. Target LZ is locked in. We're right where we should be. 175 meters in closing. Roger. Touching down at target. We're on the deck. Now, where's my stylus? Oh, no. Deploy the ramp. Roger that. Cargo cross lock disengaged. Deploying ramp. It's like the fifth one this month. LT, nice work. Every time. <laughs> Sir, comms, report mission status. Flight command, transport Niner 818 Zulu, beginning insertion for patrol. Imagine being on the planet, and then a shuttle lands, and then oh that comes out. Around. Here, take it. Ah, about time. And quit moving my stuff. 
custom yeah, navigator. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know how you found this job. See, that's cool. That's great effects for 99. When you're as good as me, the jobs find you. Speaking of jobs, we got about five minutes before the gears on the hydros freeze up and we're digging our way home. Right. The perimeter's clear for a 500 meter radius. There's no life sign. Are you sure? If there was anything exposed out there, I doubt we could inflict any more pain on them than what they're already going Talk through. Back to There's me. no metals, no munitions, no anything. <laughs> All right. Perimeter's clear, so let's secure it. Comps, get those straight legs off my ship. I want dust off in three minutes. Let's yes. not take any chances here. Yeah, they're doing a zoom. How about some numbers, Gator? Easy. Coordinates are as follows for armor 18, 24, 11, They must 11, be the, uh, the drivers, 32, the walkers. Transferring to your console now. Got it. Attention all units. Stand by to receive vector headings for patrol. Armor 18, proceed on a 310. Armor 18, proceeding on a 310. Armor 24, on a 323. Armor 24, 323. Armor 11, proceed on a 562. Armor 11, acknowledge, moving out to 562. Armor 32, on a 510. Armor 32, proceeding on a 510. Raptors, secure the perimeter at 500 meters and scout vectors for your armors. Over. Roger that, 98180. Yeah, look at him. Raptor patrol moving out, securing perimeter at 500 meters. Captain. Cargo has cleared the ramp. Very well, secure the ship. Roger, LT, mm -hmm. prep for dust off. Yes, sir. Peter, you have the numbers. Roger. Uh, affirmative. These veteran assault troopers have developed skills in strategic combat operations when experiencing extreme terrain and weather conditions. Such training allows the Empire to easily deploy into areas that otherwise would be much too hazardous for other ground troops. Additional training and combat tactics, scouting and general support roles, allow them to be equipped with the latest in high technology weaponry. Day 43. They've been here a while. Armor 18. Armor 18 here, go ahead. Scout 3 in position. You looking for some coordinates? Roger that, Scout 3. We all arrived at Grid 3. It's about one, damn time. It's only 80 below. We've been out here a week. Rally point position is 41 decimal 40. Over. Yeah, I know. Shut up. I'm freezing too. Time to wrap it up and get the hell out of here. Troops to bond for recon patrol. Yes, sir. Tell the boys to gear up. We're moving out. Yes, sir. For this elite corps of assault troopers, fear is not an option. Cool. A lifetime of training has conditioned them to be alert and agile in the most undesirable of environments. All right, back to Let's go for a clean dispersal this time. No promises. Doors up, ropes down. Troops deploying now. To be a part of the special unit requires a high level of discipline and concentration, especially when working in tandem with the heavy mechanized armor of the support vehicles. <sighs> Talk about Ice Planet Zero. So, what's it look like? Looks like we're gonna be here a while. Although Peter Cullen's like a perfect narrator for this. It makes it very like, gives it like a History Channel vibe. Some small amount of tolerance must be observed for the extreme cold of the environment. Left side door, ramp is clear, troops are oh, down. Whoa, let's move it out. Squad one, down and clear. Squad two, bring up our six. Squad two, down and ready. On your six, roger. Oh, want a closer look? Let me give you a hand. Ah, quit scoring around. That's not <laughs> funny. Mm. Why do we always have to stay behind to do this shit? You're lucky this is a slow day, kid. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking. I swear to God, these things are made out of ice. There have been times when I would have sent a couple thousand bolts downrange by now, and my spotter, that's you, FNG, yeah, whatever. would be handing me a new barrel to change out. Yeah, I know, but for now, we have to... Uh, what's the manual say? It rhymes with maintenance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Constantly maintain and upkeep equipment in order to prevent malfunctions in the field. Oh, the machinery can easily be disabled by ice or freeze up completely, like always. So a few of us, and by us, I mean me, <laughs> are assigned to remain on board to check over the hardware for signs of damage due to ice buildup. <laughs> That's right. And I act as a spotter for the gunners. Win the situation demands. <laughs> yeah, right. That's not really why you're still up here. Oh, well, why? What then? Oh. 
Give me a break. You're not ready for the ground. The last time you went out, the squad had to carry all of your equipment. I mean, come on, kid. My armor's older than you are. Sure, whatever, Grandpa. Uh, that's enough, you guys. <laughs> you know, when the cargo doors open, troops are deploying for a mission, things get real sticky up here. Especially on missions when we're deploying into hot combat zones. We are all there is to make sure the ground is clear for the troops and keep any hostiles off us while they're vulnerable. Yep, let me tell you, we know firsthand what it's like to rely on the guys in our position. We've put in our time on the ground already and have worked up to being stationed at this gun crew. Now it's our turn to see what we must have looked like when we were FNGs. <laughs> <laughs> they're all scared spitless jumping out of a perfectly good armored box right into enemy fire. Believe me, it's no fun hanging out on that line in a combat zone for any amount of time. That's the truth. I heard that. Any number of things can go wrong in times like this. From our high vantage point, whether we're moving or standing, sometimes it's difficult to tell where the enemy fire is coming from and pinpoint targets, let alone hit anything. <clears throat> so generally, we laid down a wide field of suppressing fire in an attempt to cover the troops as they deploy. Now, these troops rely on us heavily for their safety when loading or unloading, so we take our jobs very seriously. Now, we've definitely got the best job on board. You think I'd want to be driving this thing? No thanks. Our only responsibility is to lay down cover fire for the ground troops. Period. Not driving or parking or even making repairs. Ugh, too much to worry about. For me, there is no other job. There's Sounds like a sweet gig. Like Just be the door gunner of an ad Firing a gun like this, knowing you can't let up for a second without endangering the entire crew. This takes a special combination of quick reflexes, sharp eyes, and concentration. But maybe if you concentrated harder, you'd have as many hits as me. <laughs> Very funny. At least I only hit the enemy targets, you collateral bastard. <laughs> Now, there's always a risk of casualties on our missions. Our purpose and number one priority here is to minimize the risk for the troops and reduce their losses at a critical point in the engagement. If we managed to keep the enemy's heads down, then we did our jobs. We do a good job on a mission, we get more of them back on board alive when it's over. We don't... Well, we want all of them to come back. But let's face it, they're not deploying for a picnic. Armor 18, ground patrol. We've reached the marker and we're breaking off. We'll rendezvous with you at 949er. Do you copy? Copy that. Ground Patrol, good luck. We'll meet you at the rendezvous. Right side, door clear. Ground Patrol is clear. Come on, kid. Time for you to maintain and upkeep some hot coffee for me. Oh, man. We're ready when you are. Clear the ramp. Troop door is coming down. Looks like a storm's coming in. Ha! Ah, glad I'm not out there. How much time we got? Wanna get naked? God damn! <laughs> Fly us and they drive us, and we're still walking to get there. Another day in the court. Uh, we got something, sir. What's on the box, 877? Could be a transmission. Signal's really faint. It's east, uh, west, it's that way. Where? About 750 meters north of our position. The, the code's not used by the Empire. Is that thing even working? Uh, yeah. All right, let's check it out. Uh, yes, sir. Wherever it is, it isn't friendly. The success of the Assault Trooper Division combined That's a great with the fierce too. Look reputation at that. has made the standard Assault Trooper a symbol of the new order. Please my ass off. In fact, the success rate for the thwarting lawbreakers is so high, most renegades would rather flee than engage them in confrontation. Scouts 8 and 7 are in position. They're tracking an unidentified inbound to our location. All right, troops, let's rally the dig in. You ready for this? I'm ready for any. So wait, the unidentified, the unidentified signal is inbound to their location, or they're inbound to the unidentified signal? Visual contact acquired. Oh, Still no contact with primary target. Yeah, that figures. This job is 90% boredom, 10% terror. I hate these types. You know, I signed on with the Empire when I found out the terrorists had attacked the reserve base in my hometown. My friends and family were all killed in that battle. What? You never told me that. Yeah, the whole damn city was destroyed. That sucks. You know, I always used to think I was kept alive for a reason. Now I finally think I know what that reason is. Yeah, to kick some rebel ass. No, I'm not here for revenge. I'm here to make sure that what happened to me doesn't ever happen to anyone else. Huh. I remember my girlfriend graduated from the Imperial Academy as a fighter pilot. I had it bad for her. 
Must have been that uniform. Anyway, I enlisted with her. To be with her. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? As a pilot. What happened? I didn't make the cut and got transferred to the snowtrooper division. Big shocker. Could've been worse. Could've been transferred. A rebel base? To or just a settlement? <laughs> That's a great tune. <laughs> sure is catchy. Got him. I like this guy. Oh. 1,500 meters and touching down. The damn goddamn time. It's a modified YT. Lock and load, gents. These guys are no strangers. What do you mean? Just last month, it blasted its way out of Davenport Gateway. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's not gonna happen this time. Crank it over! Oh, that's the ship from episode one. Imp's episode one, I should say. Sir! It won't turn over! Then fix it! Yes, sir. The girl? Huh? What happened with the girl? Uh, she dumped me and joined some rebellion. That sucks. Never fail. Oh, not again. Come on. <laughs> on my womp, ass. Womp. You think they heard that? Are you kidding? I can still hear that. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe they're. Oh, oh yep. Here we go. All squads, open fire. Don't let that ship take off. Silvertail 63, evacuation code 519082. Are they serious? They can't be pulling us out. We just got here. It doesn't matter. All squads, continue covering fire and prepare to fall back to extraction point. We're leaving. That was fast. It's gone. Better call it in. I'm not calling it in. You call it in. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call it in. Time to pop smoke and get the hell out of here. Looks like we got the smoke part covered. Cold steel, cold steel. Silvertail 63, fire mission, over. Silvertail 63, cold steel, fire control. Go ahead with coordinates, over. Position six oh, they're gonna base Delta Zero, this perfect. little settlement? Spotter will adjust, over. Roger, Silvertail 63, beginning orbit over target area. Stand by for support. The hammer's coming down, over. Roger that. Silvertail 63, ready for extraction, over. Squad one, fall back. Yeah, you guys are danger fall close. Back. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, there you go. Teamwork, precision, and confidence are key to success. Look at that. Working together. Just wiping to it off problem. the planet. Both men and women are expertly trained to get the job done. As guardians of order and justice throughout the galaxy. That was awesome. Continuing to be awesome. Yeah, easily one of my favorite fan film series. The attention to detail here, the sets, the costuming, everything was great about it. Um, and story-wise, it fully drew me in, you know? I was listening to the... I was fully engaged in what they had to say. The action was great, too, seeing it completely from the Imperial perspective. Like, we've seen that encounter so many times over in Star Wars. It's always from the rebel side. Suddenly, the Imperials attack. They shoot their way out. And then, like, you know, from orbit, a Star Destroyer shows up. We never get to see it purely from the Imperial side. And that's one of the coolest things. That's one of the coolest perspectives that this show offers. Yeah. Super awesome. And there's another episode out there. I'm going to watch episode three soon. Stay tuned for that. I'm not sure if there's an episode four. Let me know in the comments. As far as I know, it's just the three. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the rest of the channel for more content, reactions, and reviews. Leave me a comment if you have a question, or if you have a fan film to recommend to me. I'm trying to get my hands on every Star Wars fan film ever made. If you want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash channel. You get access to content polls, exclusive videos, full-length reactions. There's also a Discord server going on. You can get a link to that in the comments. And thank you again for watching. As always, may the Force be with you.